Hey, how's it going, High Level Community? I'm Josh, owner of Matt Tech Specialties, which is a marketing and software agency for the automotive industry. And I'm also the creator of GHL Meets SEO, which is a three website template snapshot and 15 video training course on using high level for local SEO. Now, I will say I'm not trying to be the next SEO guru or black hat course creator. Um, I honestly don't even actively prospect to sell SEO as a service by itself. Uh, but I do want to offer it to current clients and upsell it to new clients, uh, which has been so much fun when it's simple to get good results for them. Uh, so in the beginning, I used to outsource to a really great white label SEO agency. Uh, I would pay them $800 a month per client and I would charge a thousand dollars, you know, small profit, minimal work, no big deal. But I couldn't help but wonder what if I could charge and charge that same amount and keep it all to myself without having to pay WordPress developers, without having to pay for plugins, hosting, and all that stuff that comes with it. I'm already using this very powerful software. What if I could figure it out with this? And as a business owner, that's a 500% profit increase on that one service without charging any more at all. So I would be kind of dumb not to wonder about things like that. And if I can keep all my clients' marketing needs under one roof, my roof, even better. So I decided to test my knowledge and the capabilities of high level uh, with the next few new clients we picked up over and we were going to test for 90 days. Uh, if I could get results that I was happy with and I don't settle for small amounts of leads, then I was going to implement local SEO into my SOPs with our onboarding for high level for each new client. And here we are a year later after doing my first 90 day test of using high level to rank Google My Businesses and websites organically. And the first clients that I set this up for are doing better than ever. They're in one of two positions really, one being they're looking to hire and scale their ads. Because uh, we set up ads first and SEO is an upsell. So they're ready to, to hire more technicians, installers, what have you, and scale up their ads. Because now they have an additional stream of leads and revenue that they can depend on every single month that comes from SEO. And they don't have to think about it. And so some of that can go into their ad spend as they scale. Position two is I have some clients that have been in business for 30 or 40 years. They're able to bring their ad spend way down and still have an abundance of organic sales until that next generation comes in and is ready to scale it back up with paid channels. So about four months into these tests, I saw a post in the high level group of someone asking if anybody was using Go High Level for SEO and I decided to share my results. And ever since then, I've been asked to share what we were doing to get those results. This is the story of how GHL Meets SEO was born. I took exactly what I implement for every new client across multiple industries and I turned it into an easily customizable snapshot with a detailed training course to go along with it. I wanted to make providing SEO as a service more accessible to new agencies and to prove that with the proper foundation, website structure, and SEO basics, the high level is more than enough to rank local businesses. This snapshot is designed as a template for you to create a repeatable local business snapshot with a fully optimized website specific to your niche. Not only does it provide a foundation for local SEO that's native to high level, but I also share a fundamentals checklist that's broken down into four categories. And I also share a full bonus video explaining the few off page strategies that I use like backlinks and citations and where I get those along with any other tracking softwares. Anything I use outside of high level, I share in the bonus video. So using one or two of these outsourced automated strategies in conjunction with the snapshot templates, it will rank your Google My Business profiles and your websites much faster than you might think. We recently added two additional website templates to the snapshot, along with new training material to go over those, and a snapshot sales template to bring your first custom niche snapshot to market faster than ever. Uh, so really quick, I'd like to jump in and share some recent results from two industries that I'm using this exact system for right now. And then I'll jump into an overview of the snapshot to show you everything that's included with that. So let's dive into some results with some full green geogrids really quick. So if you're not familiar, this is called a geogrid or a search grid. And in this first example, the keyword is for mobile dent repair. And this is a three square mile grid in the city of Sacramento. And so each number on this grid represents which position this client was ranking in in the map pack on the search result page for this keyword in Sacramento. 
And so each number represents the position they were ranking here. And if it's higher than three, it would be under the more businesses once you would click on that. Uh, so these numbers represent where we were ranking in this section here. So if we look back at the date here, this was October 1st. And so you can see he was only kind of ranking right where his business is located, right around these only ones on the map. And over here, it's just terrible. So he might as well have not even been ranking over here at all with some of these higher orange numbers. And then if we move from October to November, we implemented the snapshot right there in October. Um, and that's when we built the new website using our templates. And you can see a massive jump over half of the GeoGrid is green here. We've got a lot of twos and threes, which is what I really like to see. And all of our orange and red numbers are getting lighter and climbing up the page. But then here in November, the client had a change of address. Uh, so it's almost like we had to get re-verified like it was a new listing. And so we're going to see a little bit of a dip here. We've got some more orange and yellow um, and some of our twos turned into threes and fours. But then the very next month, you can see a nice quick recovery here. It was even better than before. So we were further along than when we left off. Got even more one, twos, and threes. And then we're going to fast forward all the way to today. And now there's not a single X on the map. Over three quarters of it is all green. And we're seeing a lot of ones, twos, and threes, even way down here, which is far away from him. So we got to start working on this corner now. So I also wanted to share our exact amount of leads and website visits from the Google Maps profile right now. And so let's do a quick refresh and show that today is March 6th. We scroll down and see we've had about 4,000 views for dent repair. Uh, our search views are even down 40%. It is going to fluctuate with Google Maps more so than any other source I see really. So it does fluctuate and go up and down. But if we come over to our leads, you can see it's still doing great. And they're even increasing with 40% less traffic. Our interaction is great. And that's another thing that helps our profile stay at the top. So we've had almost 70 website visits in the past 28 days and 55 calls just from Google My Business using this snapshot. And I wanted to share one more example that's not in the automotive industry. It's actually for home security installation because this can be used for any local business really. It, the filler content in the templates is automotive, but it can easily be customized for any local business. So we've got home security in Southern California and Orange County. And for our keyword here, you can see home security installers. There's no location or branding, anything like that with the keyword. And you can see he's ranking number one almost all the way across the grid. And we've got some twos and threes up here. It's all green. And this was our first geo grid for this client. We implemented this snapshot about 60 days ago and I was just getting around to, to making his first geo grids here. Let's try intercom installation. They are security focused, but they do all kinds of custom electronics, uh, manufacturing and installation. So for just intercom installation, that's a pretty big keyword. And we're ranking number two and three across the map. And then let's try just security installation. No cities, nothing like that. All ones, twos, and threes. And so this client's absolutely thrilled. I mean, our competitors are like ADT, Simply Safe, Vivint. Amazon sells a lot of security products and will also offer installation. So this client's absolutely thrilled. Let's jump over to his actual leads for the month. Again, I'll do a quick refresh for you and show you the date up here again, March 6th. We come down to our traffic. It's not a whole lot. Like I said, it's only 60 days old and it's also still increased almost 600%. But with just a small amount of traffic, 72 website visits and, and three calls. So about 73 direct leads and we've had about another 25 from his website. Uh, so for whatever reason, this profile is being shown a lot more on desktop where there is not a call button, but still. 72 website visits and about 25 organic leads. I'll take it any day of the week. So I hope everyone enjoyed the story of how the snapshot and course came to be and some of our results from version 2 that released back in February of this year um, in 2022. And here we are about six months later in August and we just came out with version 3. I think it's much better design and layout of the course. There's an additional sales training now with three videos 
on SEO audits, how to upsell current clients, and how to sell websites to new clients as well, even if they have an existing website on WordPress, um, because your SEO campaign for them can still start by building a new website with links and content that help bring their original website up higher on the page, and the second website can just take up more real estate on the first page. Now they can have three or four entities ranking on page one, just bringing in more leads. Uh, so I think, think this sales training is great, and it shows you how to monetize and productize your services. Um, so they seem like much cheaper, but as they add on, it, it starts to, to really build up. So I just wanted to show you a little bit of what you get with the course here and some updates on version 3. And so in the beginning, we've still got the uh, course and snapshot overview. There's been some changes to this, along with version 3 as well. We've still got the SEO basics and checklist. Now all the sales training is brand new. And then we've also broken down the 12 steps and condensed it into 8 for updating the website. So it's much smoother and faster. Um, we've taken out a few steps. If you're very familiar with the website and funnel builder, you can probably set the whole thing up with this video here, um, steps one through five C, and then come back to um, you know five five A and five B. These are two different kind of blog structures. Um, this one would be a little bit less content to start with, and this one take two to three more articles to to get started with this blog structure for the way we interlink things and everything with this option here. And then it can still take you through connecting the domain, um, on-page SEO with H tags, alt text, and metadata. Um, I will say in this step, we also show a tool to check for any broken links. So we do a final inspection to make sure everything's perfectly ready to go. Then we double check all of our on-page SEO, and then we'll submit our site to Google Search Console so it can start indexing. But these videos are breaking down each of these steps into more detail, showing you basically every single click you need to make. Um, it's designed to pass along to a virtual assistant. Maybe you can check out the sales training and the SEO basics, but just pass along part C to your virtual assistant and the template and have them pump out a site for you in a day or two. Maybe not even. Uh, maybe they can do it in one day if they're familiar with the funnel builder. So you can put up a quick job post on Upwork or Fiverr for someone familiar with the high level funnel builder and then just give them your training access for part C there. And part D is customizing your sales page template that we give you. It's just like our GHL meets SEO sales page, a marketplace template on how to sell your custom snapshot to your industry. You can just throw some of your screenshots and results in there really quickly and get that page up and running much faster and it can start to rank pretty quickly. I showed just to put one YouTube video demo at the top, just like this. And uh, if anyone searches anything relevant to high level and SEO, my YouTube video and my single little landing page for this course uh, ranks pretty high up on the search result pages on Google, as well as on YouTube. So we share some of those strategies in here and help you get your snapshot up and running much quicker and so it can kind of be your lead magnet into your SaaS offers or just kind of your entry point uh, to your systems uh, to upsell ad services, SEO, and all those great things. And then we also added some more stuff to the additional resources here and kind of broke down some of the things that are included in, in here so you can find all the extra links and, and templates. I share everything I use outside of high level, how to, how to do the search grids and track your local ranking keywords for the Google My Business and I share where we get our citations and backlinks and entity stacks here. Um, these are pretty much the only ongoing services I use besides writing content and putting out you know, one or two blog articles on the website per month and posting on the Google My Business a few times a week if the client is paying for those SEO services. And so this is the updates to the course here and now I'll show a few updates to the snapshot. And so we've broken it down now to this one folder here. It's going to come with what looks like three websites, but it's really only two now. And we put the blog step 5B all in one in one template. So you can just copy it over and clone it over to the main site if you want to use this structure. And so it's just a blog homepage. And you'll interlink to like three articles with a little excerpt about them. And this is the only page that you link to in your navigation here. And so you do all your interlinking to your full page articles on this blog kind of home page here. And just as you write more articles, continue to put an excerpt from like the intro paragraph and the main header and topic of that article 
on this page and you continue just cloning out the rows as you go uh, but we share more and more about that training in step 5b on how to implement this blogging structure for more content on your website 5a is just writing one article and interlinking to those in your header and then each time you write a new one just putting that article title below the blog as a sub navigation option each time you write an article so that's just a little bit easier way to do it and that's the way we started out here with one blog article in the template just to give you a reference on about how much content to put there and we give suggestions on all that as well uh, so this is the main template we're going to use with the snapshot now anybody who purchased before still has access to version 2 and that included another website template the design wasn't quite as nice, the structure wasn't quite there, and it didn't flow as easily for everybody. But I think after you build your first site and get through the course one time, you can get your next site up and running in just a few hours, especially if you're familiar with custom values. It's just really smooth and easy to, to get rolling. And so I wanted to share the updates on version 3 with you guys, and I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you soon.